Hello everyone, so we're going to record, we're going to see uh, the next uh, thing, okay? Uh, now we're going to see transcription, okay? Transcription, okay, uh, takes place just after um, replication, okay? And it starts, as usual, with uh, DNA. Okay, with a normal, uh, this is going to be step number one, a normal DNA double strand, here in block, open by a helicase, as you know, okay, this is going to be the helicase, and then the strand open. Now, transcription is useful because we're going to transcribe uh, DNA. Okay, transcribing DNA is something important because it's going to give us uh, the, the, the between step, uh, bef uh, between step between obviously the information and uh, and the protein. Okay, that is what we take from the information. So before that, we need to do a translator. Okay, we we need to generate something that can be passed into uh, uh, into the the protein. Okay, into the components of the proteins that are going to be the amino acids. And for that, we're going to use uh, something that we're going to discover. Okay, so. Uh, transcription, okay, it starts obviously with uh, the classical primer here, the primer, you obviously know, and then uh, we're going to generate something that is called RNA, okay, this is a strand of RNA, okay, generated by uh, an enzyme that is called the RNA polymerase. Okay, so we have here the RNA polymerase, then we're going to get RNA, I'm just describing the elements so you, so you have them a little bit uh, there all together and the prime. Okay, then uh, this is super simple, this is a, a super simple process. Okay, in which once we have uh, DNA more or less fully open, okay. The helicase just is going to just to open a little bit more, and then DNA is going to close itself because it's a super quick process. Okay, super quick process like this. Okay, then the RNA is going to. Uh, is going to follow, okay, it's going to separate from the DNA molecule and then the DNA molecule will stay the same, okay? So we can use it uh, another time to, to, to do, uh, to do more, more stuff with the DNA, to replicate it, to generate more RNAs, uh, whatever, okay? So the RNA stays there and that's it. So now, uh, between uh, DNA and RNA are going to be differences, okay? Differences between DNA and RNA, okay? So DNA, we're going to paint it in black, okay? Like here, and RNA, we're going to paint it in pink. Okay, so now 
Uh, the first thing is the name, okay? DNA, you know that is deoxybribonucleic nucleic acid. RNA is going to be ribonucleic acid. Okay, so that's the first thing. And what is the difference, okay, in the deoxyribo part, okay? So the difference is going to be here and here, okay? This is, uh, this is what's going to make a difference, yes? Um, so I'm going to explain it super quick. You're seeing uh, now in chemistry, you're seeing a little bit of organic chemistry. So, uh, carbon has four possible uh, links, okay, and one of these here in the in the deoxyribose. This is deoxyribose, okay, here. This is one prime, two prime, three prime, four prime, and five prime carbons. Okay, this one here is deoxy. Okay, so it lacks an oxygen group. And here in RNA, the molecule is going to be basically the same. Okay, a little bit badly drawn, but basically the same. 1 prime, 2 prime, 3 prime, 4 prime, 5 prime, and here instead of uh, nitrogen, there's going to be a uh, hydroxy group, okay, like this. So this is going to be ribose. Another difference is in the uh, nitrogen basis, okay? Nitrogen basis of DNA nitrogen or nuclear bases of DNA are A, D, C, and G. Okay, so the nitrogen and nuclear bases of RNA nitrogen are going to be A, U, C, and G, okay? So the U is going to be the difference, okay? Uh, they're basically the same, okay? They're basically the same, but there's uh, this slight difference there. So that's uh, the first part, okay? We have the differences here, okay? Remember, uh, well, there's another big difference obviously that you're wondering right now why uh, uh, then didn't I say anything is that the DNA is double stranded okay double stranded and the RNA is single stranded okay so we're going to talk about uh, yes DNA okay double stranded DNA because it has two strands as you can see, and we're going to talk about ssRNA, uh, single strand RNA, because it has only one strand, okay? After uh, the process, okay, after this, uh, the transcription process as itself, we're going to uh, make sure that the, DNA, that the RNA, sorry, is uh, completely safe worded, okay? Our organism is designed uh, to eliminate every RNA that is uh, floating around in the cell. Okay, why? Because most of the viruses uh, are RNA based, like for example the, the coronavirus uh, that affects us right now is based on RNA and on single stranded, uh, on single strand RNA. We're going to talk about it in, in 
in the next video or in a couple of videos okay uh, so uh, coronavirus okay viruses are are mostly made of RNA there are some viruses that are DNA based but they are they are the few the fewer ones okay so our organi organism if there's an RNA floating around is going to, to destroy it so how do we protect the RNAs that uh, that uh, belong to us and that we need to generate proteins with something that are, that is that are called post transcriptional modifications okay I mean to put them here post transcriptional modifications post transcriptional modifications there are going to be two type two processes in post transcriptional modifications the first one is going to be splicing and the second one is going to be protecting the, uh, the RNA molecule. So, first we're going to see splice, okay? So, in splicing we have uh, our RNA molecule, okay? This is the RNA molecule. RNA molecule RNA molecules are uh, formed by something that we call introns and exons, okay? They are going to be introns and exons. How many? Several, okay? Several of them. So, um, uh, the, sorry several introns and exons, ordered as, as we might, okay? For example, in this uh, molecule, there are going to be an intron 1, exon 1, exon 2, intron 2, intron 3, exon 4, and intron 4, okay? For example, uh, what we're going to do is take out the introns okay and leave the exons so the introns are going to be yes this is taken out okay and the introns are going to be left in the molecule okay super easy now uh, we can have two processes normal splicing where the exons are going to be left in the molecule in the normal order Okay, exon 1, exon 2, exon 3, and exon 4. And then we're going, we can do something that is called alternative splicing. Okay. This is not really. Alternative splicing. Okay in which we can reorder uh, the exons for example like this now uh, remember that we we said that the, that the important part of the dna molecule okay we said it uh, explaining replication are the nitrogen bases okay the things that are inside uh, those are going to be uh, the nitrogen uh, bases are going to be what codes for a gene okay well sorry are going to compose the gene that is what codes for a protein okay so the sequence of nitrogen bases are the important part here in in all this stuff okay so if we change the sequence we change the the gene therefore we change the protein okay so these, okay, the, the splicing, the normal splicing and the alternative splicing gives us a way to generate more than one protein from the same sequence of DNA, okay? So we're going to have, we're going to have a DNA molecule here, okay? That, are going, that is going to be a transcription into a, a, a molecule of RNA, 
and then via the post transcription or modifications sorry, I need to color code this thing here okay via post transcription and modifications okay uh, we're going to call them PT, PTM for example okay via post transcription and modifications we can get two or several sequences okay that can be uh, an RNA molecule with the normal splicing or it can be an RNA molecule with alternative splicing okay we're going to call them RNA1 and RNA2 now counting that we can have several exons and several introns okay uh, then we can have via alternative, uh, uh, alternative splicing several different uh, RNA molecules so that becomes super useful because we have a tiny space in the cell okay and we need to pack DNA really 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 tight so we can save space okay so we can use the same sequence of DNA for several different things okay using alternative splicing okay the other post transcriptional modification that we can have is the one that is going to protect our RNA and let us recognize uh, that it is ours, okay? Uh, this is going to be protection. Protection. So, uh, to our RNA molecule, okay, here, this is in pink the RNA molecule we're going to put two uh, two different things okay we're going to put a cap in the five prime n so it's the five prime cap and then we're going to put a three prime polyadenine tail okay uh, what do we use it for several things okay we use it to recognize that it is ours we're going to call it local RNA to guide it out of the nucleus, okay, because it has to uh, to be taken out and uh, basically to protect it from uh, no to elongate uh, its median life, okay, to make it last longer in the organism. Okay, so those are the three main uses for post-transcriptional modifications. Okay, and now we're going to see uh, the last thing that is types of RNA. And this is the most important part. We're going to study uh, three main types of RNA. Okay, we're going to study messenger RNA, uh, um, transfer RNA and uh, ribosomal RNA okay three types now uh, the most important type is mRNA okay or messenger RNA okay this is the most important type Messenger RNA is going to be a normal RNA, yes, with all the post transcriptional modifications and all the stuff. Uh, and it's the one that is going to code uh, for the protein, okay? It's the one that is going to contain the information to translate it into a protein, okay? Messenger RNA translating into a protein. It's the one that is going to have 
all the introns and exons stuff here okay uh, so it's the one that has that is going to have the most post transcriptional modifications now uh, it's very important to note that uh, the messenger RNA is going to be divided in a sequence of uh, three nucleotides okay so we have the normal RNA and it's going to have parts of three nucleotides okay this is going to be an ampliation here for example we have a molecule and they are going to be for example A U A okay so it's going to be divided in sequences of three how many sequences of three? I don't know, several several thousands of them it depends on the protein it depends on the mRNA it depends on a lot of stuff okay but uh, sequences of three those sequences are called colons okay colon three nucleotides okay then we're going to have a uh, tRNA okay tRNA or wait sorry transfer RNA. tRNA or transfer RNA is going to have this shape like this okay like a beak of the lab and it's going to have three nucleotides here at the bottom okay those three nucleotides are called anti anti colon okay and those nucleotides are going to join the uh, the colon in the mRNA and relate it to the amino acid that it has on top okay this is going to be an amino acid several amino acids make a protein okay so we're going to have here uh, for example uh, I know U A U okay and then this one is going to join the A U A codon okay and it's going to uh, put the relationship between between this amino acid and this codon okay uh, it's going to make the relationship okay so the anti codon uh, serves to transfer the information between uh, the mRNA and the amino acid and uh, last but not least uh, it's going to be um, red I think is the R RNA or ribosomal RNA. You remember the ribosomes because they are they are in the in the rough endoplasmic reticulum. Okay, ribosomes are made of R RNA plus sorry proteins. Okay, both things, and the ribosomes are used to link uh, these parts. Okay, the ribosome is going to read the mRNA okay and then locate the tRNA with the anticodon uh, to, to to make this relationship okay so uh, ribosome is going to read mRNA this one reads mRNA and then looks for the tRNA complementary to the 
Okay, perfect. So we finished. Okay. Uh, you see, we have the process of transcription, the difference between DNA and RNA, the DNA is double stranded, RNA is single stranded, and then uh, the oxy ribose and ribose, uh, the difference in the bases. Then we have the post transcriptional modifications, splicing here and protection, okay, with all the things, alternative splicing that gives us several RNA sequences. Then we have uh, the different types, mRNA, tRNA, and uh, rRNA, okay, that we're going to use uh, when it comes to translation. Okay, so that's everything about the RNA and the transcription for now, okay. This is the second process. Uh, watch the video if you have any doubts, as you know, use Teams. Uh, you can leave the comments in YouTube to be answered, or you can contact me by email, uh, manage back, or, or whichever other uh, method you prefer. Okay, so that's everything for now. Thank you very much.